Tales Spring Season. Uh, this is Nimsh, and I'm here with Wolfgang and Raven. And actually, uh, we are having something different for you uh, right now because, uh, you know, we, we were casting a lot of matches today, a lot of uh, elimination matches uh, for great prizes, but apparently on the backstage there was a small argument and like about in the Fichu, they did like one was speaking Greek, another was speaking French. Like, they couldn't communicate uh, properly, and uh, they have some problem with each other. So we decided that, that we will settle it down with good old Hearthstone, just uh, sitting down, you know, and playing a match. That will have a brawl. Yeah. <laughs> well, so they're outside now, just uh, <laughs> dealing with it. But we'll get by that. <laughs> yeah. Tavern well, brawl. Tavern brawl. Well, yeah. they they actually play in a different format. So. So what's the format? So the format is. Uh, best of one, and they have to build a deck because normally you have to have a deck, but they build a Good deck idea. for their opponent. So through that, they will be able to communicate. So like Abouse is building the deck for the fish right now. With his love and uh, his uh, hearts and knowledge, he tries to build the worst deck possible. And so, th <laughs> And then the fish will build the deck for the like Abouse, and they will try <laughs> to, to play those decks. Yeah, so we're just going to see mid-range Shaman then? Um, <laughs> well, you take up, up to four <laughs> spaces with the hero power. <laughs> But no, um, uh, and they only have a limit, like quite a short amount of time to build these decks, right? Yeah. It's not like they've been able to pour over this and literally make the the worst deck ever for their opponent. Well, but you can make a priest with light wells, flash kills. Sounds awesome! You'll Naro. never die. What about doomsayers? <laughs> yeah, you you can do it. What about like uh, a really high curve deck? It so still like wins against this priest deck <laughs> <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> with with you know anything. Well, here we go. So we're actually going to see the deck building come into play. So he's. Uh, it looks like it's inside on Warlock. Um, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he was just viewing the deck. Misplay. 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 Misplay already. He was just viewing and couldn't add the list. So there's By the way, uh, he has 900,000 dust. Wow. That's a lot of dust. You can craft a lot of cards if Holy you need them. Holy crap. <laughs> so, um, yeah. I, I wonder. Maybe that's Crips account. And somebody <laughs> actually clicked on the legendary button. I, I think that's not possible. He would, he would have been already dead. Like, I'm sure that Crip, Crip will <laughs> I will find you and I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, Crip will just call him and be like... a specific set of skills. Yeah. It's like, yeah, this is Crip. And I have a certain amount, uh, like, amount of skills that I will find you. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to... Uh, we've got to get the Angry Chickens and the Wisps. Whoa, what? How are Wisps and Angry Chickens not, not a good idea here? Uh, so do they build actually decent... Well, I don't know. There's Probably two twisting almost. there. There's two dark bargains. Two summoning portals. It's possible that like about is new to this format. You know, like <laughs> <he> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's not really played this format much where you build your opponent's deck for them. Um, so what he's doing now is just creating the lowest attack deck possible. And um, because his opponent wa uh, won't uh, probably know too much about what's in the deck, I don't know if they get to look at the deck beforehand or not, but life tapping into minions that don't really do any damage uh, is probably not the best play. Oh, and there's Law Walker Cho. Oh, Could man. be dangerous, though, because it might lock himself out of uh, damage. And I think like the Fischl can, uh, cannot actually see what deck is being built. So, Raven, uh, what would you imagine your opponent building for you? Oh god, really difficult. Um, either something like really high curve, and then the problem with that is it's a bit risky. And if they, uh, oh, this. he's here. He's yeah, he's actually in the corridor, <laughs> so he can't see a thing, which is pretty awesome. Um, yeah, just I would actually just pick the what deemed the worst cards I could find, uh, and then just and just do everything there. And I kind of like the warlock thing, where the idea is you you are going to life tap into bad cards, so you're hurting yourself and doing nothing to your opponent. <laughs> it's actually a really good idea. I'm being serious. Like, because you always have the, the <laughs> there is maybe something good in this yeah, deck. I will find it, and it's like no, you will not. Well, well, the ancient watchers are really horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, it's okay. He can alarm bot into one. He can shadow flame one. That's something. Yeah, that's actually it. If yes. he's statue, that's actually a decent card. Don't <laughs> give him wailing souls for fuck <laughs> sake. <laughs> Owls and everything. It's <laughs> like, oh, wailing souls is actually a bad card. I will give it one. Yeah. You know what's I funny? Think, I think they should have to put like, you know, one good card in. Or at least one troll card. At least like. star sticker. Ice howl. That, there we go. That's what I wanted to see. Wow. Now we can kill the light wells. <laughs> What what, what oh do you guys God. think about Elise Starseeker? Like, th that would be a nice. That gesture. could be funny. Both playing Elise decks, just Elise and all the card draw you can have. Oh, maybe we can actually pull a rule like that for the so next show. So match. you need to put an Elise yeah. in the deck. Yeah, Elise yeah, so like and a really just card draw. A really bad Let's deck, say. really bad deck, and then Elise. That would be so good. So that people yeah. actually you definitely wouldn't give them Warlock then. Like you don't make that <laughs> deck in Warlock. Yeah. It's like yeah, I'll just keep tapping to Elise and then win. What would be the the worst deck? Like, Priest probably. Slothar mentioned right. Priest will be horrible, I guess. I mean, <laughs> that, that's the first thing that comes to mind because there are so many conditional cards. Circle of Healing? Well, 
great. Awesome. Lightwell, awesome card. I, I think Zettel is crying right now. <laughs> You're hurting yeah, but his But I'm sure as hell that he will be like, yeah, you can build a priest like that. <laughs> this is so good. This and is he so would win with it. <laughs> He's actually weighing up giving him more card draw just to draw into the bad cards. Like... <laughs> Oh my god, this is amazing. I think, Shadow Bolt? I think he's running out of time. And he also well, the deck's full for now. a start, so uh, he's really trying to squeeze this one additional card in, and I'm pretty sure that's <laughs> against the rules. He wants to just give his opponent more yeah, no bad more cards. Yeah, no more pixels for that. Yeah. Stop yeah, like it. a boss. No more pixels enough. for that. Somebody stop like a boss. This is enough time. Call time. He's done. All right. Oh, he's oh. in. Pizza time. Nice. An aptly named deck. What's your favorite pizza, Raven? My favorite pizza? Yeah. Topping, uh, I mean. Oh, just uh, just one topping? No, uh, no, no, no. Like in the okay, overall. so it's like uh, chicken and mushroom, I'd say. What? That's like, not that that original. That's popular all. in his area, I guess. Okay. Look, just because it's not popular in Poland, Lothar, doesn't mean it's not a good topping. Well, people in Poland, they eat pizza with ketchup. Yeah. I'm serious. Like <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, they, they I mean, it has, it has like a tomato puree on yeah, it. Anyway, what do you need the tomato sauce for? It's like it's like burger, right? And you need a bun on the bottom and on the top. So like in, in Poland, we have uh, tomato sauce and we put ketchup on the top. <laughs> oh, okay. Just to, just to cover <laughs> the top. <laughs> I Which is actually true, I don't know whether right? you're trolling me or not. That's what's <laughs> scary, you two. Yeah. Stop it. Stop ganging up on me. What's the your favorite, Lothar? Don't say pineapple because that's just wrong. Brass or pizza. What you pizza? know, like the... the this slowly being... Um, I don't know the English word for that. Which one? Uh, Brasola pizza. I don't know that pizza actually. Sounds fancy. So, is no, it it's not fancy. It's like a, uh, lo it's like a um, ham that takes time to get it ready. Like it. I like really is don't it like know the is, is, it, is it Parma? Or Serrano? Kinda. I think so. Okay. Now, now the Twitch will be like, oh my <laughs> god, <laughs> Lotto, what's going know, on? You don't, <laughs> you don't even, even know, know what, your you pizza. what you like. Yes, yeah. Like, like Lothar going to a restaurant in a different country is like, can I get my uh, favorite pizza? What's that? I <laughs> can't <laughs> tell you, but I want <laughs> you to make it. But <laughs> I have ketchup. <laughs> <laughs> I have ketchup with me because I don't know. You, s you, s you don't serve ketchup. Oh god. I uh, I think I just liked uh, the four cheese, the quattro fromaggi. Okay. So okay. cheese in yeah, general. Yeah, basically. <laughs> cheese, cheese and yeah. more cheese and then some more cheese. Yeah. yeah. With yeah. toppings of cheese. You and know which ketchup. pizza? And then some pizza? ketchup. <laughs> there is one really good pizza. It's a vegetarian pizza with chicken. So you like go to the you go to the restaurant. Pretty sure that doesn't and work. You, and you actually ask for vegetarian pizza because it's a really good pizza overall with veggies and everything. And you ask for extra chicken on it. Just to annoy the vegetarians <laughs> in the <laughs> it's restaurant. Like, it's one thing. <laughs> and you will know that they're there. <laughs> Imagine if there's a vegan in there like, what are you doing? <laughs> Ruining the pizza. No? <laughs> and Crip is like. <laughs> actually, a vegan cannot eat pizza, I think. Like, yeah, because uh, of like cheese and stuff? Uh, no, the, the dough actually. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. It takes it to a whole new level. Okay. Anyway. Okay. All right. So we're we're trying to to lock to another account so that the Fisher can actually um, unleash his deck building skills. Please oh. go priest. <laughs> a priest would be fine. Like you really want to watch the priest? I mean, he would be, be like crushed. a fatigue matchup. He would be crushed in the first two seconds. Oh, but by what though? Oh, Wait, they, uh, oh they, they might they might both have had to do warlock, which is reasonable. I think it's, it will be more fun because yeah. we will see more bad cards thanks to this. Crushing, oh, crushing they the were hope. choosing there. Okay, yeah, we got well information they both chose Warlock on purpose. Demon Wrath, Ultra Troll. <laughs> Makes I sense. Know. I don't know. D bad deck builders. I don't know. They 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 don't know the bad cards. Yeah, I I, I would play this really risky. I'd be like Anima Golem, <laughs> and like you know, like try and make <laughs> it stick. Try and make that card <laughs> stick. It'd be so good. So we're definitely seeing the target. So we get seeing the two players take a similar approach, um, and I'm very swiftly becoming afraid of this show match. That it's just going to be who can not tap and <laughs> and just not kill each other the Resident fastest. Sleeper. Yeah, this is going to be the ultimate sleeper show. What? Match. Did, did he just like see how Black Abos was building the deck? Yeah, this is the <laughs> both clearly had a sim. They've really talked to their teams in the in the break before <laughs> this. You've know, got some feedback and be like, how can I build this deck, guys? I, um, I think there is a similar understanding which cards are bad overall. Yeah, but this is like super similar. But it's almost so card for removal. card. Look at that. There's so much removal. But why do you, care? Why do you care about removing Corruption? minions that are bad? Does he have any attack damage minions? I don't think he doesn't. He has the, the four fives, the, the Ancient Watchers, but no silence. I, he has nothing that can attack. I, I guess someone didn't really think this through. Yeah. Thought this through. We maybe should have used Deck Helper in this and like, like <laughs> randomized the deck uh, because this is going to get yes, very, very slow. Yes, please give him two fla faceless. Yeah. <laughs> 
Just faceless the bad minions. They should actually play shaman decks and have at least uh, double bloodlusts in them as a rule, <laughs> and then try building that deck. Nah, I would just put cards like Hammer Nesting Wary in there. That'd be so. That's you, a decent min, man. In this format, <laughs> six <laughs> in three. The, in this Whoa. format, you talking about the format where you play no attack minions? Wow. He did run out of bad cards. No, he used no, to put I two need, good ones. I no, need to use Wisp. Tiny Finn, okay. It can attack, Blood but not much. He doesn't have the Blood, blood Imp yet. Curse of the Ancient Watcher would just like to have the Blood Imp, you know, <laughs> by his side. I just, rec oh, I just I remembered. I want someone to be risky and just drop in an Anima Golem and be like, try and find it. Because then if they tap and not get it, you should win. Uh, the Cypher Swarm, I don't know. So it gives free health. So in the, in the Fatigue game, because <laughs> I'm sure that this will go to Fatigue. <laughs> the, oh my God. the free no. health might, might matter. Wait, is there any minute that can do damage? And is there anyone that can translate that word? Or do we not want to translate that word? We'll see. Kako? Uh, I mean, probably has something to do with Kaka, so probably... Football thing. Okay. Okay, <laughs> good good All shout. Right. First the pizza discussion and now <laughs> this lopa. What what's the world coming to? We've had a long day casting. <laughs> we already did cast for like ten hours. Yeah. yeah. And it, we ended up discussing pizza. Are, right? are you again going to remind me the Swedish turn? <laughs> oh no <laughs> no, no I didn't actually I didn't want to, but now I can tell that yeah, tell us, a, is tell us a story. This is still not the longest cast we have ever yeah. done. So yeah. How so long how long is the longest? The longest was what from 10 uh, a.m. to 6 a.m. Wow, that was okay. You guys beat me on that one. Like, yeah. That's impressive. I bailed around three. <laughs> oh, you see, yeah, yeah. I actually went at 11 a.m. and just thought it's gonna take a while. Just do put in a sh like one hour shift and go. I, I got to the hotel room at like 6 a.m. Got the got a shower and then went straight back out for the well, next day. Actually, in three hours I have to be back. Yeah, we start yeah. day two. <laughs> yeah, so brilliant. It was a good cast though. It was. It, it was one of my first casts also. Yeah. Kind of fun. It's fun. About it. so, so, guys, who do you think has an advantage? The fish or um, like a bows? I can't, I can't remember take which deck have I has can't what. take that question seriously, Nims. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> both decks seem super similar. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, let, let's think. Does the person who goes first fatigue <laughs> first? Is that what we're really bringing? If, this, so this if someone will use the hero power, he loses. Yes. <laughs> It's like such a big taunt. It's like, this is the only hero power you can use in the game that loses you the game. That might be why they picked it. There's no attack at all. Like any. I don't think there's any minions that can... There's, there's the Ancient Watchers that have attack, but can't attack can't because attack. they have no silence in the deck. What about the 7-7? The seven seven? Yeah, someone put Eerie Stature in, actually. Eerie Stature is there and for the Fissure because like a boss picked it. And yeah. It's a good card. I actually reached Legend with a Druid playing Eerie Stature. Somebody was building your deck or... <laughs> no, 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 I actually <laughs> put it on purpose. I actually reached Legend with this exact debt list. How do these guys <laughs> but know? No, what? No, 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 wait, wait, wait. wait. Eerie Statue was a druid deck, so you can, like, oh, okay, he had Silence, two Innervates, yeah. Wild Grove, Savage Roar, Force of Nature, yeah, yeah. He and can even play the even a Wisp in yeah. that deck and still win. You <laughs> it's four mana, right? Four mana, seven, seven, yes. So you basically Innervate it on, on two, and then you just coin Keeper and go seven face? Well, you can also play Wailing Soul and just have always the attack or just clean up the, wi the minions from your opponent and you still right. can attack wi wi without the silence. Was, was Dice playing it like recently as well? Si I have no silence idea. Route? Okay. I, I played it like the first week it came out. Oh, oh there is Zombie Chow. Zombie Chow. Oh, it's, damn. it's actually a great card here. Oh, like a balls just lost the game. <laughs> <laughs> well, and the game just ends now because it's yes. like, oh, there's damage. Like, like the honestly, over. I, I think like a boss is in a really bad position. <laughs> The zombie show no the cry for help. Oh my god. Oh, oh they, they counter the with corruption! Oh man! No, oh my almost god. Almost no attack. And the game is now <laughs> And now the game will go on again. Yeah. Well nice. I how oh I <sighs> See, can kill the, the bad minions. This should have been like a caveat where like both decks have Ice Howl and both decks run one IMB Cowl. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> like that's that's what you have to do to win. Wow. Well, he I can mean, actually get Ice Cow quite early with that uh, Alarma bot. The, oh, yeah, right. Uh, that that uh, doesn't change anything. Well, that change things that he will be able to kill all the bad minions on the board. Oh, my God. Can he get an, an Ice Cow here? Oh, he'll get the Watcher just because that's what that's what this game is going to become. It would be fun sure. if somebody is having Mogger in the deck. Yeah. Why? Nothing can attack. <laughs> Wait, so how does the game Ice Cow can. Hmm? I'm just wondering how this game will end. Um, Eventually is the answer there. Yeah. <laughs> At some point when players fatigue. They'll fatigue, right? 
Because I think they're both running minions that can't really attack. Wow, this will take a long, long yeah. time. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna have to commentate this. Uh, I'm very optimistic. <laughs> So yeah, the, the, the Alama bots are good players because they replace the minions in hand and then you can keep playing them. The Ice Howl is going to trade with all these minions eventually and uh, yeah, there's something portal to get all these amazing minions in cheaper. This is the first time I see Alama bot effects in one game that are like, you know, ongoing <laughs> each turn. <laughs> yeah, that, uh, yeah they just keep cycling. Almost nothing can kill it. Uh, well, there's the Ice Howl, Howl right? Ice, Ice Howl, Howl, yeah. That would have been cool. Wow, alarm board in alarm, alarm board. That's just <laughs> crazy. What it's a never-ending combo. Have you guys fought Ice Hole, by the way? This reminds me. That that fight was actually pretty cool. Oh, in um, it was in the Grand Crusade. Grand Tournament. Yeah. The Grand Tournament, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've, I've played that, that raid. Yeah, basically, like, Ice Hole was in the middle of the arena, and uh, you had to, like, he started charging at some point. You had, you, have, yeah. you had to position yourself so it does not charge into you. Yeah. You have to just get out of the line. Yeah, just and then do, do the old World of Warcraft things and don't stand in, in the crap. Don't basically. Well, don't it's stand in the fire. <laughs> yeah, because it's not always fire. It's just it's stuff that you just don't stand in, and that's how you do raids. And then the, the developers troll the players sometimes, and they put buffs on the ground. Yeah, so that yeah you yeah. actually had to stand in the buff. And that just freaked people out. They Absolutely. couldn't deal with it. It's like no, I'm, I've conditioned myself not to uh, not to do this. Not to never stand in anything that glows. <laughs> I want to see live tap, please. Look how powerful twist coin twist in Nether is going to be awesome. Eh? So the first player that realizes that you should never live tap wins. Uh, potentially, I'm just me mesmerized by these uh, alarma bots just <laughs> chaining one <laughs> after the other. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's literally it's so colorful. I caught a quick point there where I just stopped casting. Was like, oh, this is happening. This is actually happening. Well, there is a lot of removal for like a boss, so he Why? can pull the trigger. <laughs> Why do you need to remove any of this board? <laughs> To oh make more goodness. place for awesome cards. Yeah. Oh, another show. Brilliant. Wow, he pulled the trigger. He pulled the trigger and he's... No way. He now they're both on 30 health and... Was that a miss? That reserve. was a misplay, though. He could have charged him with the Ice Howl and the Law Walker could show and not given him another twist in Nether. Does so, it matter? Uh, <laughs> well, you know, I'm going to make him out, Lothar. <laughs> that was definitely a misplay. This is just going to be a game of beautiful effects. We're going to see a couple of twisting nethers, a lot of explosions, and... Uh, six. No, you, no, oh wait, it's nine cards. There's still this one zombie chai thing in the deck that can attack. But they it will killed. get destroyed by one of the three twisting nethers. It got corruption, corruption right? Weird. Or is there, are we presuming there's a second zombie chai? Oh my god. <laughs> what do you remove? <laughs> <laughs> well, this I'll is the you, question. I'll tell you a well. secret, Nim. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Wait, oh he just he destroyed the Doomsayer, right? Yay! The Walker Show is alive. <laughs> <laughs> so. That was a I've, mistake. I've actually never seen that effect. The Dark Did Bargain really? effect. I was yeah. actually playing that card in a decent deck. It didn't I just work don't out, feel. I, I just don't feel it. like that sentence is correct, Lopa. <laughs> was somebody you? building this deck for you? <laughs> <laughs> yes, of course. Oh my God. Okay. Oh, 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 okay, no. that actually, uh, does that do anything? Yeah, there are three Twisting Nethers <laughs> waiting for it. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. <laughs> See, this is why you shouldn't have played into it. But maybe maybe you will not actually cast Twisting Nether here. Look at this. Can it actually connect to face? It can. How? Can, you, can it? No, no. No, because it can't attack. You've you got to clear the board. Can you shadow? No, you can Shadow Flame your Lord Walker show and then go for the Dark uh, Bargain and attack, right? But it has to be the only minion on the board. Yeah. yeah, so if you Shadow so Flame, Shadow Cho, Flame Cho, Cho dies. Any Dark Parks, and you go face. You Shadow Flame what? Yeah, Lower Cho. Cho. It doesn't have to have an attack to Shadow Flame it. But right? you don't kill his your opponent minions. Yeah, but then you Dark Park them to... Yeah, Dark Bargain. Kill. Dark Bargain, yeah. Kills two minions, right? Oh, he has a Dark Bargain too? Yeah. Oh, yeah. okay. Oh my god, there's actually a play. Well, but Oh, and now he just kind of... But he should Shadow up. Flame to Cho and attack. Wow. Why not? These guys clearly are not experienced enough to handle these decks. Yep. Definitely misplayed. Yeah, that was actually that would be a huge difference. Seven damage. Well, it would just win the game. It would yeah. just win the game. <laughs> yeah, win the game right now. So we saw the fish who actually uh, throw away his chance to win this game, and they're just going to trade dark bargains now. Like a boss is not really happy about this dark bargain here. And he doesn't really want to play Pagel because I'm pretty sure without that attack from the seven seven, this is going to go to fatigue. I mean, oh man, I not Pagel! I think they are not taking seriously this this this, this format because. He well, through the game. In all honesty, that hurts because we're taking it seriously. So, uh, you know, 
And the golden... Is that Shield Bearer? Is that the name of that card? Uh, I, I call it Reynard. <laughs> and why do you call it that? Forehead. <laughs> you don't know? Yeah, look, I, look I, I knew forehead. the answer. I wanted you to confirm the answer for me, Nims. That's all. Reynard invented this card with the deck and Hearthstone itself. And the Drenai race. When Actually, it's kind of funny, but for every player that came from MTG and looked at Harson at first glance, it was like, holy moly, one mana, zero, four? Yeah. That's quite cute. It's like a wall, right? It's it's a, it's a good minion. You should play that. Yeah. Whereas the key difference being that the uh, the minions heal to full, right, every turn? Yeah. I'm so sad that the statue didn't did attack. What? <laughs> I'm still living that turn with the 7-7. Seven, 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 seven damage five. missed. Really. Shame. There are some heals though, right? Like Siphon Soul is a heal. Yeah. Something. Well, this will take some time. Did you guys actually know that uh, Nat Pago did fish out Ashbringer? Oh, really? Yeah. Why would he do that? Well, he was fishing and he just found uh, found Ashbringer. Yeah, so, cool. extension now, uh, Nimsh. Why was Ashbringer wherever he fished? Maybe Tyrion got pissed, you know, just threw it away in the it's water. Bond, there's so a lake. Ty Tyrion was like, I will be a peaceful paladin. I will just heal people with the light. I don't need the sword. It's so heavy. <laughs> okay, so his target dummy's going to get some wow. work done. Oh, wait. No, it's not. That was a center that I heard first time. Three twisting nethers. There has to be a card. I don't uh, think there is. Well, they have a couple of cards in their deck still. <laughs> Killing that bagel. Poor that bagel. Oh, man. He only wanted to fish. Yep. Summoning portal. What does it change? Absolutely nothing. Actually, when I think about it, the priest that I was mentioning was actually quite a good deck in this format. Suddenly? Yeah, yeah because, because you never die. You never die you to the fatigue. Yeah. Lothar just uh, subliminally metering the, the crap out of the, this format. Oh my god. So L Lothar, have you figured out this format already? Yeah, but I, I don't want to encourage people to try <laughs> it out. <laughs> <laughs> I am not promoting this format. Yeah. This is just a black hole oh. format. Oh, oh no! Siphon Song! And Twisting Nether, and Twisting Nether. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, but still and other Siphon Song. Corruption. Oh my god. Another chance though. The missed chance of seven damage actually changed this game or reverted yeah, this game. Yeah, I'm actually so. surprised that w there was such a big misplay that changed this game. I mean, that was like game changing, game breaking. Absolutely. I'm sure the Twitch chat is like all elegant right now. Because you could Shadow Flame show, right? Yeah, I don't think it needs yeah. to have an attack. Yeah, it's just yeah, sacrifice yeah, yeah. a minion. You just sacrifice. And you just do its attack damage, which is zero. So yeah, yeah. yeah. It will, it'll work. It was counterintuitive, though. Like, you, you were not always in this situation. Thank God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of glad we don't find ourselves in this, uh, in terms of the players in this situation too often. Because this is a... Uh, so who, who, so someone just wins right now. So can Fisher get punished? Or never punished? Who went first? So is Fisher going to take four this turn? Why can't you multiple call fail? Well, so it seems like Fisher can actually win this. Yeah, the Fisher's just won already, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh my wow, ne <laughs> never never punished the fun. <laughs> <laughs> never punished. Oh my god. This is just uh, the standard so ladder game. So this ladder game <laughs> was actually decided by a coin flip of whoever went first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is okay. everything we don't want the house done to be. Um, do you guys want a winner's interview? Uh, no, no. I no. think, I think okay. I'm good. I we think I'm good. Right. Wait! Wait. Three okay. How does, does it change much? It, it does. This is a sick play. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it, it turned around the tables now. <laughs> now the is losing. This is so weird. He will lose after all. <laughs> wait, Punished. Wait, will he? Will he? Uh, does he have a heal? No, no heals. Wait, wait. That's... No, he, he still loses. Fish loses. Or no, Black no, no, no. Black like Abos loses. Oh, wow. You're right. Never punished after all. <laughs> <laughs> Life tap. <laughs> no justice. <laughs> no oh, justice. Wow. Okay. Oh, man. Okay. Well, there were two misplays. Yeah. One, not attacking with the ear statue because I was, like, sealing the deal for the, home to, for the whole game. Yeah. And second, was like a Abos 
using Siphon Soul and not healing himself. He did the it. first one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're right. yeah, yeah. Because yeah, he's on full health, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was also the third misplay was not going first. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oh, going first. That matters. Which one worked out? So if you go first, you win. It, do you? Uh, oh, yeah. Eh. Yeah, because yeah. your opponent is or, or one not. card deeper. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. You're right. So this time, actually, having a coin wasn't that good. <laughs> We've seen the win, win, win percentages quite high all day in terms of who who got the coin in each set. Absolutely. And you know, we decided to flip it on its head. Yeah, I think like it also matters in ladder because you know uh, Blizzard has statistics, right? So like most matches, uh, we feel like people who have the coin they win more, but then people play those fatigue matches and it's uh, kind of like evens out the people scale. People play those fatigue matches. What okay. do you have an argument, you know? You, you no, what, what there is not. Like, people play those matches where they just don't play minions that do any damage, and uh, yeah, you know, it evens the stats out. Yeah. All right. I'm with you on this. Next time we're doing this format, you have to include we will minions. We will play. <laughs> no, you have to include minions that have at least one attack. Yeah. Or uh, Bloodlust. Just no, there's just one attack at least. Okay, all right. Yeah, that makes sense. Make, makes sense. Right? So because we'll see. then you have actually some movement. And we'll see a lot of different minions. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely different decks than this. But uh, that will be it for the show match, guys. Um, we will have three, three more matches or two, two more matches? More. Two, two more matches. Two more matches after this. So stay with us and get ready for more uh, single elimination after the show break.